In order to get networking information into your dashboard, we're going to need to deploy Zangati Flow Summarizers. And to do that, go to the Setup menu and choose XFS Deployment Initiate. And you'll go ahead and choose the Deploy Flow Summarizers option. And on the next page, it's going to give you a list of, um, of uh, the hosts that you've discovered previously. You're going to go through the refresh process here. And it will um, you know, go ahead and show you uh, what you've got going on. Now, um, I want to go ahead and deploy new flow summarizers onto the first two of my hosts. So I'm going to go ahead and say set deployment action. And uh, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and set up a new flow summarizer. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use DHCP, but you can also enter a static address if you like. And the first thing I need to do is assign it to a management interface. In this case, I'm going to use Ethernet 0, and I'm going to put that in vSwitch 0, and I'm going to put it in the VM network because that's where DHCP is in my network. Um, I am also then going to take Ethernet 1 interface of this virtual appliance, and I'm going to put it in vSwitch 0, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the Zangati port group because I know that that's a promiscuous mode port group. If you don't have a promiscuous mode port group on your switch, you're going to want to choose a new port group and perhaps give it a name like Monitor or Zangati, and then in that case, it will go ahead and create a new promiscuous mode port group for you. Um, so if you need to do that, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose uh, Zangati, and I'm going to go ahead and use local uh, storage. That will keep this uh, machine from vMotioning around the cluster. We want it to stay with the host that it's on. If you don't have local storage, of course, you can use network attached storage. So that's the first one. The, uh, the second one, I'm going to go ahead and hit set up again, and I'm going to complete the exact same process of assigning both a, a management interface whoops, and uh, also assigning it uh, a place for a promiscuous mode interface and again choosing local storage. So once I've done that for whatever number of hosts that I have, I can go ahead and hit OK. You're going to want to change the number of concurrent deployments uh, to four so that it does multiple things at a time. And you'll hit the Next button. If you do not, uh, if you have not yet loaded up the file, uh, you're going to go ahead and choose Load from a Local File System. And you will uh, go ahead and navigate to uh, the place where your xfs.zip file is. You do not need to unzip it. Uh, you go ahead and select it, and you'll hit Upload. Um, at that point, it'll go ahead and upload the file, a process which will take several minutes, and it'll give you a message when it's done. And at the point that it's finally finished uploading the xfs.zip file, uh, then you can go ahead and hit the Next button to continue. And whoops, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the existing OVF. There we go. Um, I'll hit the next button to continue and then finish. And at the point that I hit finish, it's going to go ahead and prepare uh, these flow summarizers for deployment and then actually start the deployment process. As these Zangati flow summarizers are are deployed, this is a process that you can actually watch both from vCenter as well as from the Zangati console itself. So to watch it from Zangati, we'll need to uh, wait for the setup window to close, and um, then we can go ahead and take a look at what's happening. And so we'll hit the close button, and then you can go to setup and XFS deployment status. And this will bring up a, a little window that says that it's busy uploading the uh, the OVF file, and it'll tell you about the progress of that. If we were to flip over to vCenter server, you can see the exact same thing, that it's busy deploying these OVF templates, and this is basically just going to be determined by um, you know, how fast your SAN is, and you know where the file is, and what the copy speed is, and things like that. So uh, that process will continue for, for several minutes. And then what's going to happen is, as you can imagine, because these are virtual machines, they will go ahead and be powered on. They're going to then talk back to the dashboard appliance, do some configuration, and uh, reboot themselves once or twice, get everything going. And finally, uh, the status here will um, progress through several steps and finally come up with a status of completed. And at the point that it's completed, you know that they're successfully installed, and we'll pick it back up at that point. 
Once your flow summarizers have deployed and show completed, you can go ahead and hit close. Um, you may or may not have information in um, in the uh, the leftmost pane. Uh, what you can do is you can actually go to the appliance tab under flow status, and this is where you can actually check and observe what's happening. Once the flow summarizers are deployed, it actually takes about a minute, maybe a minute and a half in order for them to fully to start displaying data. And what you'll notice is that first you'll see flow packets come in. The flow packets will then get translated into a virtual packet rate and a virtual bit rate. And at that point then, you will actually have information um, you know, in your dashboard. And so what you'll wanna do is make sure that you're successfully receiving data uh, from all of your ESX hosts um, or routers or you know distributed switches that uh, that you have configured. In this case, we only configured for two, and so you can see that. But on your environment, you'll probably have complete information for all of your hosts. And that concludes uh, our discussion of um, configuring flow summarizers and making sure that you have a complete set of data inside your dashboard. At this point, you'll probably want to check out the videos that we have uh, on the YouTube site related to setting up the VI or the VDI dashboards. So enjoy your Zangati deployment.